little short and sweet video to go alongside my latest blog post. And I hope you're having a good week and I hope you like our new location. I've moved a good three feet or so from uh, the last spot of my previous video and you can see a few of my favourite artworks that are a great source of inspiration for me and I hope you're going to like them too. The one up here is, you might recognise in fact, it's a rather famous painting, or it's not the famous painting, you kind of have sirens and things going off if it was, it's a print of The Goldfinch by the Dutch artist Carl Fabricius. You might also have come across it from Donna Tartt's novel in 2014, in which the painting goes on quite an adventure. That's also titled The Goldfinch, and in fact, it inspired a quote from the novel, inspired my most recent tattoo. So here is a little insert so you can see, I want to say see what you think, but to be honest, it's, it's on a tattoo. You know, the deed is done, so I like it, and yeah, such is life. And the artwork directly behind me is titled Spring, so perfect for this time of year. And the artist's name is Frances MacDonald. She painted the painting above me and her sister Margaret MacDonald painted the one over here. Now Margaret and Frances are both artists who trained at Glasgow School of Art. Very talented artists and designers in their own right, but probably often known as the wife and sister-in-law of Charles Rennie Mackintosh. So it's very important to me, I wrote about them for my own studies in history of art, that women artists just like them get the recognition that their male peers have often enjoyed. In fact, we shall be returning to Margaret very, very shortly in this vlog. But first, yeah, so that's my inspiration, inspiration board, inspiration station. And yeah, this video is just to highlight my most la 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 my most recent piece on my website for Diary of a Novel. So if you're new to my work, Diary of a Novel is where I document my slow but relatively steady progress writing my first novel. I've written poetry and short stories up to this point, but at some point in my life I would love to make this novel happen and I can't tell if and when it'll ever be published but really it is me finding the words to tell my own story. So in that way I hope the blog is inspiration and is enjoyable read for fellow writers, for anyone that's passionate about reading, but also just anyone that is trying to pursue their dreams, trying to pursue their goals and trying to live the life that makes sense to them. I, as I said, I can't tell kind of if and when anything will happen with it, but it's certainly a very heartwarming point to reach the stage in which I can communicate it and I can tell my story. I've been reflecting on artistic style. I've reached the end of my first draft, first draft of many, it probably has to be said, but that is opening it up for me to really think about style and how I'm going to tell the story in as effective a way as I can. Now, one of the things that, that came to mind was the fact that I find it relatively easy when I'm writing poetry to be quite reserved with my word choice, be quite thoughtful and careful, whereas with prose, if anything, I'm bubbling with enthusiasm and will spill all that enthusiasm onto the page and you think, is there is there a middle ground? And it was funny because this week, going back to Margaret MacDonald now, I was really considering that I thought, am I better at writing poetry and obviously it's wonderful if you have any success at all but I thought I'd really like to make this novel happen maybe my talents just don't lie in fiction and I'd no sooner drafted all this blog up and in the post came a letter saying that a short story I've written is going to be published this summer so that was the most wonderful news and quite unexpected it's going to be published in New Writing Scotland an anthology for new writing in Scotland, you see what they did there, and the piece is actually inspired by Margaret MacDonald, so exactly the vibe that I was talking about, respecting her reputation and considering her work vis-a-vis -vis Macintosh. So I was absolutely delighted to hear that that is going to happen, and at this point, yeah, it gets passed over to the editors, which I do enjoy. Editors, I feel like, are taxi drivers in a busy city, you think, this is too much for me, so please, you, you deal with this, you handle this. And yeah, it'll be published hopefully in the summer and I shall have a little book to show you. Uh, they published one short story by me before but that was back in 2015 and this one, as you can understand, is particularly close to my heart. So yay, that was a great surprise. And yeah, so 
good a good end to the week i hope yours is also going well let me know what you think of the video let me know what you think of the vlog and that's all from me so have a great day see you again soon bye